Assalamualaikum dear friends. Uh, welcome to the new lecture. Today we are going to discuss seven reasons why you must read the Quran. Before we proceed, if you have not subscribed to the channel, YouTube students of Quran, please do so so that you are able to get the video updates of the channel. Right. So let's discuss one by one the reasons why we must read the Quran and Majid. The reason number one is it is for you and about you. Allah Taala revealed in Quran and Majid, "A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillahi r-rahman ar-rahim." Laqad anzalna ilaykum kitaban fihi zikrukum, afala ta'kilun. We have revealed for you, O people, a book in which is a message for you. Fihi zikrukum means a message for you. Will you not then understand? Now this ayah tells us that each and every one out of us is mentioned in Quran imaji. Now you see Quran enlightens us and how it enlightens us, it tells us who we are. It tells us where have we come from, where we are heading to. It tells you what is the purpose of your creation. It gives you the meaning and uh, how you must live life in the shade of the Quran. It also tells you which path will lead you to success and it tells you how to live in this world. Now there are two main things. One, first of all, the Quran shows you the most comprehensive system involving all aspects of your life in this world that is dunya. Plus, it is your roadmap showing how to get to the paradise in the next world, the Akhirah. So, Quran tells you both this world and the Akhra. Now, here comes the second reason why you, we must read the Quran. It is the Lord's gift of guidance. We call it Rabb. Rabb means Lord, Master. It is the gift of guidance. Allah Taala said in Quran and Majid, Verily, this Quran guides to that which is straight and most suitable and gives the glad tidings to the believers who do deeds of righteousness that they shall have a magnificent reward. And Allah Taala in chapter number 16, verse number 18 revealed, and we have sent down to you the book explaining all things, a guide, a mercy, and a glad, glad tidings to the Muslim. Now this Quran is called the Biyan Likulli Shayin. It explains everything, each and everything. In another, in another surah, that is chapter number 10, verse number 57, Surah Yunus, Allah Tabarqa Ta'ala said, This is a very beautiful ayah. Ya ayyuhan nasu ka ja'atkum mu'iza min rabbikum. O mankind, there hath come to you a direction from your Lord, and a healing for the diseases in your heart, and for those who believe a guidance and a mercy. The Quran is a guidance par excellence. It doesn't leave you in the lurch. It answers to all the problems. It's a glad tidings, good news for the believers, and it is a fountain of mercy, and it is the healing. <coughs> Remember, Quran is the maker's instruction manual. If you operate a machine the contrary to its manufacturer's specification, you will ruin that machine. And if you live a life contrary to your maker's instruction, you will ruin yourself. Clinch to the, to the Quran, lest you fail to function. Coming over to the reason three, you see Quran is your calling card to communicate with your Lord. If you ever wish to communicate with your Lord, you must read Quran. Allah Tabarqa Ta'ala, Prophet, Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that it is a hadith Qudsi. Allah said, I have divided pair between myself and my servant into two halves and my servant shall have a what? He has asked for. Now we are talking about the Surah Al Fatiha. Allah said, When the servant says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Allah says, My servant has praised me. And when he says, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, Allah says, My servant has extorted me. And when he says, Maliki Yawmideen, Allah says, My servant has glorified me. And no one, and on one occasion he said, My servant has submitted to my power. Moving on. When he says, He says, this is between me and my servant. And my servant shall have what he has asked for. And when he says, He says, this is for my, my servant. And my servant shall have what he has asked for. Now this hadith is narrated by Hazrat Abu Huraira. 
This is Hadith Kursi mentioned in Sahih Muslim, Mota, Tirmidhi, Abu Daud, An Nisai, and Ibn Majah. What a beautiful way to converse with one's Lord. Now, this Hadith shows us that Allah Taala listens to us, Allah Taala replies to us. Now, the Quran is your Lord's way to communicate with you, your way to respond to the Lord's communication, and your hotline with your Creator that is never busy. It is your hotline, your online calling card whose credits never get over, ever. Now, if you make up your mind, these are the strong, three strong reasons. They are sufficient enough for sensible minds and longing hearts to read the Quran. But hold on. Sometimes some brains are not satisfied. They ask for stronger reasons, scientific reason in today's so-called materialistic world. Let's see. Reason number four. The Quran is inimitable. Now, Quran has challenged to disprove the inimitability of Quran was presented to the Arabs and mankind in three different stages. In this stage number one, Allah Taala revealed in chapter number 17, verse number 88, say, if the whole of mankind and jinns were to gather together to produce the like of this Quran, they could not produce the like thereof, even if they backed up each other with health and sport. Now, this was the phase one of a challenge given to all mankind to produce or reproduce any surah of Quran or any part of the Quran like this. In the second uh, stage, Allah Taala has given the challenge to produce 10 surahs, 10 chapters of Quran like this. In chapter number 11, verse number 13, Allah says, or do they say that he has invented it? Say to them, bring 10 invented chapters like it and call for help on whomever you can besides Allah if you are trustfulness, if you are trustful. Now Allah Taala has given challenge to produce and reproduce the 10 chapters like this. This was the stage two. And in the last stage in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 23, Allah said, and if you all are in doubt about what we have revealed to our servant, bring a single chapter like it and call your witnesses besides Allah if you are truthful. You see, for the last 1400 years, these three challenges are in Quran and Majid. The whole of mankind, all evil, all non-believers, they get to produce even, even a chapter like this, in, uh, which can be compared to Quran and Majid. And they would never be able to do it. They would always fail. Now, the Quran's inimitability is forever. Quran dares to disprove it. None has met the challenge since 14 centuries, not shall the challenge ever be met. Billions of books have been written but not another one like the Quran. Now, coming over to the next reason, reason number five, the Quran is incorruptible. Allah Taala said in Quran, in chapter number 15, verse number 19, we have without doubt sent down the message and we will assuredly, we assuredly guard it from corruption. This is the most emphatic way of saying the sentence in Arabic language. Allah is the guardian of Quran. The Quran is the only revealed book available on the face of earth which is pure and intact since the time it was revealed. Nothing was added to it, nothing was removed from it, nothing was changed in it. When Allah is its guardian, none can tamper it ever. Reason number six, the Quran is unsurpassable. Allah Taala said in chapter number 33, verse number 40, Muhammad is not the father of any of your men, but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophet. And Allah has full knowledge of all the things. Allah Taala called holy prophet Khatam al -Nabijin. And in another verse, chapter number 77, verse number 50, Allah said, Fabi ayyi hadith in yu'minun, Then what message after that will they believe in? The Quran is the last and final revelation. Allah gave Torah to Prophet Musa. When he sent Prophet Isa, he gave him a different book than the Injil Bible. Coming of another prophet means the probable revelation of another book. The reality is that the chain of prophets ended with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Has he is the seal of all prophets. No other book will ever come from Allah to surpass the Quran. And reason number seven, and that is the last reason, the Quran is indisputable. Allah Taala said in Quran, in chapter number four, verse number 82, 
Quran, do they not ponder over the Quran? Had it been from anyone other than Allah, they would surely have found there in much contradiction. In another place, in chapter number 41, verse number 53, Allah the Barakat Allah said, Sanurihim ayatina fil afaki wa fi anfusim, hatta yatabayyana lahum annahul haq. We will show them our signs in the universe and in their own selves until it becomes manifest to them that this, the Quran, is the truth. The Quran is a living miracle. The Quran has withstood the test of time and scrutiny. It speaks of the past and it turns out to be the right. It speaks of the future and it turns out to be right. It speaks of scientific fact and it amazes the scientists. Every other book needs to be revised in accordance with modern knowledge, not so the Quran. The Quran is unique in every single aspect. Now, if I summarize, I would say the Quran is for you, for me, for each and every one out of us, and it is about us. The Quran is divine guidance. It is the maker's instructional manual. It is our calling card to talk to our, to our creator. Quran is inimitable. Quran is incorruptible. Quran is unsurpassable. And Quran is indisputable. Now, I would ask you a question, so everyone out of you, we should ask this question from ourselves. Should it be told that we must read the Quran with understanding or not? I leave it to your co common sense. If we, we uh, believe that Quran is from Allah Taala, then we must make an effort to understand Quran and Majid. We must make an effort to have a strong connection with Quran and Majid. We must make an effort to read, to recite Quran and Majid on daily basis. We seek uh, guidance and we pray from Allah Taala that may Allah help us to recite, understand, ponder, implement, propagate, and memorize the Quran and Majid. If you have not subscribed the channel yet, I would request you to do so, the YouTube channel Students of Quran and Majid, so that you are able to get the daily updates on Quran and Majid. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, nashadu Allah ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu alaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.